try something kind of different here today. Running the Osmo action, got the Traxxas TRX 40 Fender as our chase subject, and then also got the Mavic Air 2 to try and see what this active track can do here in a wide open space. Got a field here at a local school. Thought we'd try to see what this active track can do against this Defender. Again, not, not a high speed chase or anything like that. Just something kind of kind of fun here. Switching back out into the actually it's just a frame. It's not really even a filter. But I'm taking the ND16 off because as you can see it's pretty cloudy. But I thought this would be kind of a unique thing to do here is to test out test this out here. No filters. So we've got the Mavic Air 2, got the TRX Defender, Traxxas TRX Defender there, and then we've got the GoPro Hero 7 on there to even try to catch some of that, catch some of that action. So let's kind of see what we can get here. Again, I am not going to try to push it too hard or anything like that. Just do a little light testing here. If you remember back when I had the Scadio, this is the first place that I came to fly the Scadio. This this is my stomping ground here for for my drone test flights and what have you. So thought this would be a good place to test out this active track and see what kind of video we can get. Okay, let's get in DJI Fly here. We'll work on getting the work on getting the Mavic Air 2 up and running. So just stay tight, hang tight, and let's see what we can get going here. I'm gonna unclip the microphone. Alright. Everybody in place. Turn the GoPro back on. Drive him back out into the field while while that is getting set up, and I'm going to move you guys over here. Hopefully, you get a better view of this. Action here.
never knew how much was able to be seen from the camera from over there, but a Mavic Air 2 went off course, and here it is up here. Just went off course and took a nosedive. I really don't know what caused that. Uh, it should have stopped. I'm gonna ease over here. Show where it's at. Very, very soft landing. But let's see. Now, not a hint of any issues. The messed up propellers or anything is you can tell this is this is as soft as you can get as far as the landing goes but I really don't understand really don't understand what happened but I'm gonna look it over real quick while we're right here. Let you see what I'm seeing. All the lights are red. Seeing no damage at all or anything like that. I'm gonna turn it off. And we will meet back at the truck. All right, friends. I knew I said I was going to meet back at the truck with y'all, but it looked like it's going to start raining. So I went ahead and packed everything up and brought it to the house. And that did give me some time to look the uh, Mavic Air 2 over a little bit just to make sure there wasn't anything that I missed there while we looked at it uh, there together in the field. Everything looks perfect. There's a little grass uh, sap on there. I went ahead and washed that off. Uh, looked over the blades. Everything is pristine. Uh, it landed basically in the softest little bed of grass and, and weeds there that you could ask for. So no worries there. Still just do not understand why it responded the way that it did. I would have thought that it would have just stopped, uh, especially the distance that it flew. It w wasn't fast. It wasn't a matter of not being able to break or stop. So I might reach out to DJI, show them the video, uh, let them kind of see. Uh, thankfully, I was able to record it from different angles, I guess, uh, so we all could look at it and see what happened. Um, going very slow with the RC car, even if the car was not moving fast enough for it to track, I still do not see why the drone continued on as it did. That's That's what's confusing me. Uh, just watching it take place and unable to uh, get it to stop. Uh, it all kind of happened at once there. But um, again, no damage. Hopefully no harm, no foul. Still going to reach out to DJI. I do carry DJI Care. As far as being a low-risk test, uh, I thought that was about as low-risk as you can get. Uh, absolutely not pushing it like we pushed the Skydio. Uh, several people, you know, have we pushed that. And again, I've always said it. Uh, in the past, I've never purchased the DJI drone for tracking and uh, just wanted to see what Active Track 3.0 looked like. Uh, I'm not, I don't have that much confidence in it right now. I don't uh, know that I'll really further test it, uh, but we'll see. I'm, not, I'm never going to say never, uh, so we'll see uh, how that goes. Also, some good news, and it's kind of uh, could have been bad it could have been uh, kind of scary there but my gpc case did come in hope to do a unboxing of that here soon uh, so be looking for that next uh, hope you guys have a good night and subscribe comment down below what's your thoughts any ideas any ideas why the the drone would have responded like it did comment down below and let's talk about it have a good one